Yeah, so uh, this is Dark Souls 3. Check mm. it out. It's better than Dark Souls 2, not as good as Dark Souls 1. Well, I mean, I, I'd uh, say it's a little more even than Dark Souls 1. I like I like the late game bosses more, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to say, okay, I'll give you my my two cents here, uh, what I think. Uh, if I had to rank these games, uh, it's Demon Souls, uh, and then Dark Souls 1 is equal to Bloodborne, and then is those two games uh, are what's... slightly better than this, and then this is a lot better than Dark Souls 2. Yeah. So if you just want to think about that graph in yeah, your that's head. Yeah, a, that's a fair opinion. And I'm saying Dark... Me saying Demon Souls one, Demon Souls, it's just called Demon Souls, yeah. is uh, the best game. Is coming from a place of uh, impact on my life and nostalgia too. So. Yeah, but it's I'd, the best. I'd have to. <laughs> yeah, Demon Souls left the best impression on me. Uh, I'd have to replay it to see a, like how much I like it compared to the Dark Souls series. But I could understand how you could argue that Dark Souls one is objectively better than Demon Souls, but. Yeah. For me, Dark Souls 1 now is missing a good hub world. Hmm. And that's what's hurting that game for me. Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd put this over... I'd say this is uh, maybe equal to Dark Souls 1. Okay. Um, Why? Just because the late game stuff is less... Uh, yeah, but I don't like... Uh, well, to Less me, mild. To me, I don't... i rather the... Uh, non-linearity of Dark Souls 1. It's a little bit more non-linear. Hmm. Like, you have more of an opportunity in Dark Souls 1 to wander yeah, into places you're not supposed to be. It's hard to compare them. And I think that's interesting. Yeah. But I didn't notice the lack of linearity in this game. Or the yeah, lack of uh, me non-linearity. Neither, but I wish it was there. It didn't hurt this game. Yeah. I just felt like it uh, made it, to me, not as interesting. Maybe maybe because I... Uh, Maybe just coming off of Dark Souls 2, I was impressed by how much this was improved. And this doesn't, to me, this doesn't have any amazingly difficult areas like Dark Souls 1 had. Yeah. Like, it didn't have the Tomb of the Giants or whatever. Uh -huh. Dark Souls 1 that was pitch black, with gigantic skeletons everywhere, and an impossible boss at the end. Uh -huh. And it was right at the beginning of the game. You can yeah. go to it and try it. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and uh, Sif, the uh, wolf boss, was hard and interesting. And I think, to me, that boss was more interesting than a lot of the bosses in this. Even though I like the Abyss Watchers in this a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, Dark Souls 1, you got Sif and Ornstein and Smo. And I think those are the highlights of that game. Yeah. And then Demon Souls, you had uh, Man Eaters uh, and Flame Lurker, mm -hmm. which were huge in that game. And then uh, in this, you got like, to me, it's the Abyss Watchers, and uh, I don't know. Um. What I could really remember. Who? Uh, who are who are the two princes' names again? I forget. Lorien and Lothric. Lorien and Lothric. Uh, I I uh I like that boss a lot because uh, I like bosses that teleport around. Yeah. Especially when they uh when they aren't bullshit, that didn't feel bullshit to me, and I uh, I appreciate that. In Bloodborne, I liked. Uh... Oh man, I liked uh, uh, Rom the Vacuous Spider. Uh, I liked, uh, uh... Bloodborne was full of good shit. I liked Father Goscoin. It's just, that's such an amazing fight to have at that part of the game. Mm -hmm. Right at the beginning, to introduce you to all the mechanics. Yeah. With Father Goscoin. I, uh, I, I liked, uh... I think anyone could tell you that Bloodborne had the best, uh, story and, and, uh, atmosphere. But my favorite boss, probably, in all the Soul series, uh, just based on... Uh, what it looks like and what it was was uh, actually in the Bloodborne DLC. Uh, did you beat Ludwig? Uh, not yet. I He's my got, favorite. I haven't gone back. It's just he has my favorite transformation. Uh, like I love the design. Yeah, 
I, I did get to the transformation though. Yeah, and I, the music. I, see what, I know what you're talking about. I love about. the music. Uh huh. Bloodborne has the best music. The music was perfect for the tonal shift in that fight. Yeah. And uh, his the combat change was so different in the second half. Uh huh. And he has the moonlight sword, and you get to fight someone that actually uses the moonlight sword. Yeah. Which is like in every FromSoft thing. Uh huh. And then you get the moonlight sword, and it really shoots beams of light. Yeah. And Bloodborne. <laughs> yeah. And I liked the secret boss, uh, the moon presence in Bloodborne. That was really weird. It sounds strange. It oh, sounds yeah. like you can hear leathery tentacles whipping around <laughs> each other. I missed out on that one. Ugh. Yeah. He just comes out of the moon. I got it. I got a Man, I gotta play Bloodborne again and Demon Souls and get New Game Plus on this, and it's just too much. Shit. You're gonna be Souls'd out. Stop, stop making stuff from Soft, Jesus. Okay. We'll burn